two prime f 2.8 ultra wide angle lenses Oma here and in today's video guys we're comparing Lawa 12mm f 2.8 and Samyang 14mm f 2.8 which roughly cost half the price Samyang got auto focus motor while the other one is full manual lens so the point behind this video is to discuss the specs with you guys getting closer look at both lenses and test them in the real world so you make up your mind which one suits you the best let's run the intro so you might be looking for an ultra wide lens to make beautiful videos from different perspective in this video we're comparing both lenses in different situations so check the timeline here on the screen if you would like to jump to a specific part and i kept some links down below for each lens prices may change in the future the Lawa lens I have here is originally for Nikon mount and it looks much smaller compared to Samyang but I'm using an adapter with this guy to mount it on Sony a7 III so that's how it looks now however it's gonna be the same size when you buy the 12mm lens for Sony E mount it got a built in adapter as showing here in the picture alright before diving to the technical side let's play a little game here so I'm gonna show you several images and I need you to guess which image is which lens. Let's say we have A and B. And I will let you know at the end what lens is A and what lens is B. The whole point behind the game is to show you that the difference is pretty much minimal in the real world in my opinion. Now, label A is Lawa and B is Samyang. Let me know if you did the right guess in the comment. And before jumping to the rest of the video, I would like to introduce you to my new Lightroom presets. We recently launched two custom preset packs for portraiture. One is Nature Team and the other one is Urban Style. Each pack includes about 10 different presets. Compatible with Adobe Lightroom Classic, Photoshop Lightroom and Photoshop Camera Row. Now the first 100 buyers will get 50% off. Use the coupon code FIRST50. Head off to omagamurawi.com slash store and get yours now. Back to the wide angle lenses. I will make this easier to you and show you the field of view of the 14 and 12mm focal lens side by side. This is Samyang and this one is Lawa. This is Samyang, Lawa. Samyang, Lawa. Samyang. Lawa and Samyang Lawa In terms of build quality, Samyang is fine, similar to Samyang 35mm f1.4 While Lawa built like a tank The lens has a metal housing and a metal mount too Samyang made of metal as well, but the quality is not near to Lawa Indeed, that makes a difference in the weight balance. Lawa, including the adapter I have, weights 1.5 pound, 680 grams. Samyang 14mm weights 1 pound, 470 grams. Both lenses have no buttons, and there is no focus mode switch button on Samyang. Lawa has an aperture and focus ring only. Filter thread. Usually ultra-wide angle lenses do not support filters, Technically, the filter mount is not there because the glass is extended to the front and there is no way to mount a filter. That's the case with Samyang, but with Lawa, we have the option to get a $25 filter adapter ring with 95mm filter size and use filters like any other lens. Indeed, that's an advantage to Lawa. And before testing distortion, I wanna let you know that one side of the wall is darker than the other because of the sun position. Put that in mind while looking at the following images. So with profile picture turned off in Adobe Lightroom, Lawa literally has no distortion. Samyang has a bubble shape distortion over all the image. Here is another photo. 
This is Samyang and this is Lawa. See the pipes are pretty straight on Lawa. The distortion quality remained the same over the lower aperture settings as well. And when turning profile correction on, Samyang becomes much better with almost no distortion. This is with vignette correction turned off for much better comparison. Lawa has no lens profile in Adobe Lightroom at the time of this video. I believe we don't need one. So when it comes to vignette, Lawa has heavy vignetting wide open at f2.8. And that's gradually disappeared when stepping up to f4 and 5.6. Same result we get with Samyang as well. Heavy vignetting wide open at f2.8 and better results at f5.6 and f8. Next we're testing sharpness. I made the test on Sony a7 III with sensor stabilization turned off. Lawa is on the right and Samyang on the left. So wide open at f2.8, Lawa is remarkably sharper in the center. Better than Samyang on the sides, and almost similar at corners. Samyang performs better at f4 and f5.6, but still no near to Lawa at f4. It's more close to Lawa image quality at f2.8. f8 is the sweet spot of Samyang. In the center, the quality is very similar to Lawa f8, but I still can tell the difference. While at corners, Lawa still has the best image quality. Samyang image quality get worth when stepping up to f11 and f16. While Lawa at f11 and f16 has the same image quality as f8. And when testing chromatic aberration, I noticed that Lawa has a slight purple fringing. It's not too much, I'm okay with that. You know, you can get rid of that in Adobe Lightroom. Lawa and Samyang roughly share similar minimum focus distance. 7 inches, 18 cm on Lawa. And 8 inches, 20 cm with Samyang. So, when making wide micro images, the output pretty much looked the same. Indeed, with some differences in the background perspective, due to the focal length of each lens. This is Samyang. And this one is Lawa. Samyang. Lawa. On this channel guys, we make camera, lenses, and filmmaking gear reviews. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful, and consider subscribing for more content like this. As I came to conclude this video, Lawa is outstanding, Samyang is doing fine for half the price, and if I have the budget for this guy, I don't mind using a manual ultra-wide lens on my camera, since the results are fantastic and the focus gonna be set into infinity most of the time, which is not a big deal to most of us. Indeed, I will keep checking that every while, but that is very fun. Alright, that's all we got here today. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope this video helps in making your decision. This was Oma, and see you in another one. <laughs>